Welcome to this short tutorial on how to build your very own water treatment uh, floating garden. The original idea for this project was to help clean up the algae blooms that you see here. And it worked. I started with a rigid frame made of bicycle rims uh, found in the trash. Then I put pool noodles around them and covered it with scrap um, styrofoam found also in the trash. Zip tied everything together. And then I wanted to make a lip around the whole thing uh, to hold the dirt in. A little bit of soil in there. So I just built that up around the edge and now I am testing the flotation capacity of this. You can adjust, calculate what you're going to put on the island and adjust uh, the flotation um, but be sure to test it. So here I am climbing on top and it should hold uh, my intended garden. I'm using bicycle spokes for staples just bent them into shape and then uh, I just punched those right through the burlap into the styrofoam and that created the base upon which I then put uh, soil. Here I built up the edge a little more because I didn't think it was going to hold enough soil. I wanted just uh, an inch or two of soil in there. And here I am before I put the soil on. I'm just going to uh, drag it out into the island, I've got uh, into the pond that is. Um, I got some fish in the pond so I wanted this to offer some shade for the fish um, and once it gets established all of the um, roots from the plants will offer a filtration system for my pond which used to take a lot of time to keep free of algae and now uh, takes a couple hours per season to work on so it has saved me a ton of time already. This is my second year with the island. Uh, well right now this is my first year. Here it is. First year I planted just some random things. I wanted to see what grew not just water plants but whatever I wanted. I've got pepper plants uh, I've got mint, which I know is friendly to water, so that was going to take off. And just odd plants. I got this beautiful um, flowering something or other. I wasn't sure what it was, but um, even not knowing what it was, I wanted to see if it would work. Strawberries. Strawberries have done well. Uh, next year, I think I will plant maybe do another island and plant just strawberries because as you will see in a bit the mint has taken over. Here's the first year underneath the island the probably towards the end of summer the uh, root system isn't quite established but it's providing shade uh, protection for the fish from predators. Um, the neighborhood ducks and geese love it as well we had a brutal winter. The island stayed in the pond. Uh, it froze solid but survived. This is the end of June in the high desert and I wanted to show you the difference between strawberries grown in our bed which is uh, drip irrigationed, irrigated. Here you go. That's the size of our strawberry at the end of June versus strawberry grown on the floating island 
nobody tending to it. We've got oh, there's nice fishies living under the floating island. Strawberries everywhere here. Being overtaken by mint strawberry growing out of the edges and already harvested some of the strawberries. Here's more. Oh, sorry. There you go. These are so, so sweet. So that there is the size of the strawberry plant at the same time as the ones I showed you growing in our beds, raised beds. So all kinds of little strawberries there. The other plants are just barely flowering. Here's a surprise. I, I threw a little bit of compost from the chicken yard on this island at the beginning of spring. Same as on the other strawberry bed. But there were tiny pieces of potato and now we have these nice potato plants uh, just growing like crazy. Don't know what's going to happen with that because there is no, there's only like two inches of soil here. But we got potato plants all over the place here. And all of this mint is going to be harvested for uh, flower arrangements. Don't need that. Well, that weed is pretty. It can stay. I've done a wee bit. I threw a bunch of wild seeds on here, wild flower seeds, and done just a wee bit of oh, thinning. But, oh my goodness, it is just profusion of plants. Here's the basil stuck right in the pot and um, just took to the island. The island has attracted a lot of dragonflies. Uh, not as many bees as I was hoping for. I actually have a beehive in the background there hoping that they would come. Um, the fish are happy underneath it. I got some more fish this year and threw it under there. Um, here we are towards the end of summer. Everything's gone to seed and I wanted to show you what the root system looks like now. This is the end of the second year. The root system is just beautifully bearded, providing a great filtration system for the water. Uh, lots of room or home for bacteria that uh, eat algae and the fish underneath are happy so you can see right there uh, this was an experiment to see if indeed it would survive the year and what would happen if pretty much just left to itself. I don't water this. The weird, the deer don't get it. You don't have to put the fence around it. Uh, it is a self-enclosed water filtration system, uh, which anybody can add to if you have a pond. Also, very good if you have a dirty water source anywhere. anywhere build one of these little gardens and you can have a food source um, by what you plant, also by having fish survive under it and it will clean up 